Daily Encouragement for Wednesday, April 8, 2020. The verse comes from John 19, 10 and 11, New King James. Then Pilate said to him, Are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you and power to release you? Jesus answered, You could have no power at all against me unless it had been given you from above. Therefore, the one who delivered me to you has the greater sin. Sovereignty of God is the title of today's devotion. Nowhere is it more powerfully shown that the authority of earthly rulers is a delegated power than here. As Jesus says to Pilate, You would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Romans 13.1 The Most High is sovereign over the kingdoms of men. Daniel 4.25 Nowhere is the sovereignty of God in the death of Christ more strongly asserted than by the Son of God himself. In the last analysis, it is not Pilate who handed him over to them to be crucified, John 19:16, but rather he was handed over by God's set purpose and foreknowledge, Acts 2:23. Nowhere is it clearer that for the fulfillment of his purpose, God permits his servants to suffer at the hand of of earthly rulers. Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate. Herod put James to death with the sword and proceeded to seize Peter also. Acts 12, 1 through 3. But the last word is always from above. Indeed, Herod and Pontius Pilate did what the power of the will of the sovereign Lord had decided beforehand should happen. Acts 4, 27 and 28. Submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every authority instituted among men, says Peter, First Peter 2.13. But it is for the Lord's sake, for he is God, the blessed and only ruler, First Timothy 6.15. Pray with me. Sovereign Lord, by everything that you do and say, or choose not to do or say, your power and authority is absolute. You are in complete control. Nothing takes you by surprise. In the perfection that you created us, you gave us the ability to choose with the full knowledge that we would choose to be disobedient. You appointed your son Jesus to come and show not only your mercy and grace, but your absolute authority over even death itself. Being freed from the condemnation of the ultimate separation from you in death, we press on to fight the good fight of faith and love, that no matter the struggles and suffering that we face in this life, you are God, and you are most worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. Amen. All right. And the links are there, as usual, if you'd like to check that out for yourself. And give it a thumbs up if you like that. And click the bell if you want to subscribe. And uh, leave a comment, question, prayer request. Always love to hear from you. So have a good day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.